On September 23rd, two rising stars will square off, looking to take their careers to the next level. Both men love to keep their fights standing and have knockout power, so expect fireworks from this main event at Strike Force Challengers 19 on Showtime. Hey, what's going on? The Strike Force light heavyweight Lorenzo Munson Larkin. Hi, I'm Virgil Resdogs Ricker. Any of my opponents, I don't expect them to strike with me. I'm 10 and 2. I have a great, exciting uh, stand up game. I believe in my stand up 100%. My style's unorthodox because I'm willing to try anything. I don't think he's faced anybody like me who hits as hard as me. He presents a lot of lot of difficult challenges for me, but I'm, I'm up for the task and, and I'm looking forward to the fight. I'm not to start charging people who's showing my rap, man. Who's showing the secrets? Larkin is undefeated, with eight wins coming via KO or TKO. His last two victories came under the Strike Force banner, most recently against Gian Volante in June. He talks about losing the first round to the bigger Volante. Gian, he was strong. It was just one of those things where he got a good shot in, and I made a mistake, and he took me down. But as the fight progressed on, you know, he, he started wearing down. Larkin then proceeded to pepper his slowing opponent with a variety of strikes. He talks about his greatest assets as a fighter. Speed, you know, I'm not the guy that's going to sit there and we're just going to have a slug match. I'm going to be moving just like a 55er. We're at Icon MMA, my home gym, on Riverside, California. I'm about to spar Tony Lopez. Tony Lopez gives his insight on Larkin's skill set. He's well-rounded. You know, he's got good movement, flow, defense, offense, it's all there. Sparring with Lopez wasn't Larkin's only workout on this day. Earlier, I was at Millennia MMA. In the mornings, we tend to work my ground with Romy, take down the fence, you know, and cage control. Larkin talks about his journey to the big show. When I first got in, I was just a fighter, you know, and I didn't really treat it like I was a professional. As I got more fights and, and got the business end of it, a lot of organizations helped me out. Respecting the cage, pandemonium with uh, Craig Zimmerman. Every time they fought in Riverside, you know, I was fighting on that card, so that helped me out a lot. Virgil Zwicker is coming off of a TKO victory at heavyweight over Brett Alby at Strike Force Diaz versus Daly in April. He talks about being excited for his new start at 205 and his journey thus far. From 235, I'm walking around about 215 now and I feel great. I've been watching my diet, what I eat, and definitely just training like a beast about four times a day. My background in fighting comes from the Indian Reservation. I'm from the San Pasquale Indian Reservation. I was born on the reservation with my family, and I have a, a six older brothers and five sisters. I come from a huge family. We all grew up fighting. It's been hard earlier in my career because I was a brawler. You know, everything I did was straight from the streets, and now that I'm able to bring in technique, I've changed my life around it. Zwicker tells us who his favorite fighters are. One of the fighters that I grew up most watching was Andre Olaski, and he was so vicious. The one that I look up to the most is my mentor, Dan Henderson. What he's accomplished in the last year in this sport is unreal. The legend himself gives us his take on Virgil and the fight with Larkin. He's got a ton of potential, and I think one of the biggest problems with his fighting in the past has been his conditioning. You know, I think he's really turned the corner and, and got serious about fighting. He's in great shape now, and he's got a hard head. He hits hard. He's very well-rounded and he's got a little bit of a reborn enjoyment of the fighting. He's very exciting when he goes out there and fights. He goes out there to fight. He goes out there to finish guys, not just squeak out a win. Lorenz is a tough dude. He's got a lot of potential as well. He's got some pretty good striking and a little bit unorthodox, but Virgil has a little bit more power than he does. It will definitely be an interesting fight and one that's going to have a lot of excitement in it. On this day at Team Quest, Zwicker gets working with fellow Strike Force fighter Tarek Safadine and UFC heavyweight Dave Herman, among others. It's going to be an exciting fight. We both have beautiful styles that's going to clash in the middle. It's going to see who's camp trained better. I'm very confident in my team and what I'm going to accomplish on the 23rd. Virgil is a tough dude, and there's no quitting him, you know. It's just one of those things where the better man's going to win that night. This is Virgil Res Dogs Rick here with MMA Interviews. Make sure you check out my fight. Tune in September 23rd. Las Vegas at the Palms. Strike Force on Showtime. Showtime. Strike Force Challengers 19 at the Palms in Las Vegas. September 23rd, airing live on Showtime.